Welcome back to another edition of Josh's Rookie Reef Tank Channel. It's been uh, been a while since I've uploaded a video and I recently added a calcium reactor to my 150. Uh, it's a T2 Aquamax with the Milwaukee controller and it has a Milwaukee uh, valve there on the carbon dioxide. So I've added that and my corals seem to be doing pretty well. I've recently split some of my hammers down there and uh, they're kind of sucked in right now because I've been in there digging around, but uh, I wanted to add some shallots, so I picked those up. I've got them right now soaking in the water to get the water up to temperature, and I was going to do a little acclimation video, so what I do is I run a simple tube here with a on-off valve down into my bucket, and I will take the existing water from the bags, put it in my bucket, and start a drip. I'll have to siphon the water through the hose and then I can control my drip with my valve which is the same way that I control my drip on you can see there I've got a valve to control my drip on my calcium reactor. So it's a nice easy way of doing it and it's a slow acclimation to give them the best shot of surviving. I've already been in there about half hour and bought a nice large chalice. We'll simply open the bag. Be very gentle with it because this stuff breaks easily. Which it frags very easily too. You can just snap pieces off and pretty much glue them anywhere you want. And after everything is acclimated here, I will also do a coral dip for putting them in the water. So I'll acclimate them with their own water mixed with my own, and then I will dip them also before placing them. There's my assistant, who's been shy, and a nice little piece of shallow syrup. So as you can see, I've got them resting in their own water. I'd like to show you, i got a simple setup. Hose into tank with an on-off valve. Just get my water flowing, like so. And now I can control my drip with my valve. Slowly shut it until I get the drip rate that I want. There's a nice slow drip, if you can see that. And I will let that continue to drip for about a half hour. And we'll come back and do a coral dip before putting them in the tank. So what we've done is we've allowed the corals to drip for about 35 minutes. Um, I've grabbed another bucket to which I've added one gallon of my tank water. So this one's about, I don't know, I'd say 30% of my tank water because I added a little bit plus the water from the corals. And this one is 100% of my tank water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add Coral RX. This calls for four capfuls per gallon. I'm probably a gallon and a half, so I'm going to do just five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this. If 
five capfuls to the coral. I'm going to let it continue to drip. One, two, three, four, five. It smells a lot like pine salt. Um, but Coral RX, that's the one I've always used. It works great. What it does, if there's any parasites or anything in there, it, uh, it'll kill them. So what I'll do is I'll gently stir this water for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, what I'm going to do is I will take these corals out and I will give them a rinse in my actual tank water before I place them back in the tank. I took the half hour opportunity to kind of move some corals around. Uh, kind of got, got an idea of where I want to place these. That's actually the hardest part for me is I put them in there and I end up moving them around, moving them around, moving them around until I get them where I like them. But that is how you acclimate coral or how I acclimate coral. And it's the same process with fish. Uh, if it's a hardy fish, I just end up putting the bag in the tank for about half hour and then adding about a quarter cup of water about every 10 minutes after they've sat in the water for half hour and, and the bag is adjusted to temperature. I do that three times so a total of 30 minutes there. And with a little more sensitive fish I use the drip method like this. So I uh, hope this was informative and throw a like if you like it. Thanks.